Welcome to the JM Podcasting Services Show. I'm your host, John. Today's episode is uh, episode 8 in season 9, Expanding Your Skill Set Through Podcasting. Uh, season nine's all about the benefits of podcasting above and beyond the actual process of podcasting. Podcasting opens doors to a diverse range of abilities, from content creation and technical expertise to communication and marketing. So let's explore how the craft encourages you to acquire and refine valuable skills, unlocking new horizons for personal and professional growth. At its core, podcasting is about telling compelling stories. As a podcaster, you learn to craft narratives, structure episodes, and deliver content. This skill is obviously transferable, not just to other creative endeavours such as writing, filmmaking, or even marketing, but in general conversations, business settings, and teaching your children. As podcasting involves the technical aspects of audio production and editing, you become familiar with recording equipment, sound editing software, and audio engineering techniques. These skills not only enhance your podcasting capabilities, but can also be applied to other audio-related projects. The principles, taking out what's not needed, and keeping what is, cleaning up the background noise and tweaking the voice a little, are all skills that apply to video and the written word. Video adds a visual element, obviously, and the written word is different again, but in ways I would argue the principles and therefore the production and editing skills learned in podcasting are transferable. Effective communication is a necessary life skill, and podcasting provides a platform on which to develop, experiment and refine it. As you create and deliver episodes, you enhance your public speaking abilities, learning to articulate your thoughts clearly and engage your audience effectively, adding nuance and emotion as you deliver your words, becomes second nature particularly as you develop within the craft. Initially, you're likely to be obsessed with the technical side, especially if you've not dabbled in audio production before. As you become adept at the technical side, and that's a continuous improvement area of endeavour, you're able to focus more on the words, the delivery, the background effects, and the general crafting of the audioscope. This is context-dependent. I rarely use background sounds. I find them distracting in other shows. But there are times when they add value to the communication. Over on sound collages, I experiment with some of these techniques. The episode entitled Skibbereen Soundscape makes use of a recording I made walking around the township of Skibbereen in West Cork that I then placed under a narrative track. These are things you can experiment with in podcasting and such skills add depth to your public addresses, webinars and so on. Maybe not ideal in a job interview, but might work in certain contexts. Certainly the ability to structure communication on the fly, a podcasting skill, is handy in the job job interview situation. Of course, podcasting isn't just about creating the content, it's about reaching and growing your audience. And to succeed in podcasting, you need to learn the fundamentals of marketing at the very least. To become proficient in social media marketing, email marketing and audience engagement strategies. And clearly these are skills that are useful in other forms of employment. A podcast requires consistent planning, scheduling and time management. You need to meet deadlines, especially self-imposed deadlines, for recording, editing and publishing episodes. These skills can improve your overall time management abilities, making you more efficient in all areas of your life. In fact, fitting your life around your show has a ripple effect throughout your entire life. Things get done so you have the space to record, edit, etc., As mentioned back in episode 2 of this season, season 9, podcasting's effect on time management can have a positive mental health benefit too. That episode refers to the show Thanks Podcasting from the podcast host Libsyn, and there's a link in the show notes if you want to have a listen. Learning to podcast teaches prioritising tasks, goal setting, and maintaining a consistent work ethic. Valuable skills that lead to increased productivity in all areas of life. Interviews are a popular style of podcast, uh, learning how to engage with guests, listen actively, ask insightful questions and create an engaging and respectful environment are all part of the game. Interviews are a more formal version, perhaps, of having a chat, and not every conversation you have will need to be a deep dive into the passions, motives and methodologies of your co-conversationalists. But when the time for such discussion arrives, you'll be well equipped with your podcasting practice. 
By understanding the power of open-ended questions and actually listening to the answer without judgment or predetermined outcome, the depth of connection is quite remarkable. Clearly this makes for great audio, but it also makes for an enriched life, deeper connection and a more fully human way to be in this world. Research, or perhaps more correctly, reading around a topic, gathering information and being able to critically analyse content is a key part of the podcasting process. We can all think of a well-known podcaster who just buys into whatever falls out of the mouths of his guests. Critical thought on the fly is a skill that takes many years to develop, but once you have a handle on it, your mind becomes like a sword, cleaving nonsense, conspiracy theory and downright political lies from reality. Critical thinking and research skills are invaluable in decision-making, problem-solving and staying well-informed across all domains in your life. And learning to do so in podcasting is not a bad way to start. Now, podcasting isn't without its challenges. Technical issues, unexpected obstacles and creative dilemmas can and will arise during the podcasting process. I recall occasions when I've recorded the same script three times only to find the empty, only to find the file empty of audio. Turning laptops off and on, changing cables, using different mics, all one change at a time to try and find the cause, and I ended up with the original setup and then the file was recorded properly. To this day I still ponder the causes of the failure to capture the sound and I still have no idea what happened. The point though is this, issues will arise, things will go wrong. You need to have or develop a sense of resilience and an ability to work through problems to find a solution. For the same reason, you should always subscribe to your own shows and be one of the first to listen. As I've mentioned elsewhere, on perhaps three occasions, something has gone awry between publishing and the episode landing on your podcatcher. I reloaded the same files, followed the usual workflow processes, and the file loaded perfectly the second time. Things go wrong. Just be prepared and take steps as required. Now, this is a good mantra for life in general. But podcasting does provide a way to learn this resilience. And above all else, resilience learned through podcasting is the most powerful and tangible skill you'll ever pick up. Applicable to every aspect of your life and it should never be underestimated. Learning to podcast is a dynamic journey. Empowering, upskilling and boundary stretching. So if you're seeking to expand your skill set and embrace lifelong learning, podcasting offers a creative and rewarding path to achieve this. JM Podcasting Services will be offering a course based on thousands of episodes and nearly a decade of hard-won experience, and all predicated on 40 years of meditation, which might not seem related, but trust me, it is. Through the meditation practice, I've learned to discern the necessary from the superfluous. The course, as it's coming together, will cover just what you need to enter the medium, and nothing you don't. Looking at a Black Friday, Cyber Monday launch date... If you're interested, drop me a line at john at mrjohnmore.com or through my LinkedIn profile. Both are located in the show notes for this episode. And the next episode, number nine in season nine, is entitled Amplifying Connections Through Podcasting, which should be a lot of fun. If you found some value in this episode, please tell a friend who might be interested. This really is the best way you can help the show spread the word. And such referrals are deeply appreciated. Thank you. Until next time, thanks for listening. This has been a JM Podcasting Services production. Link in the show notes.